Hello, my name is Christy Callahan. I work for Governor Baxter School for the Deaf in the middle school program located at Lyman Moore Middle School in Portland. There we have a collaborative program with Lyman Moore for our students. Our program utilizes both the mainstream classes as well as our own GBSD classroom. In the GBSD classroom, students have access to two teachers of the deaf, Rob Gillies and myself. Students also have access to support staff and one-on-one -on -one support both in the GBSD classroom and over in the mainstream setting as well. We have many interpreters available for last minute needs as well as to provide communication access in the mainstream classrooms. Our program includes a speech language therapist, physical therapy, occupational therapy services. We also have a behavior specialist a transition strategist, a public school coordinator, as well as a social worker on staff. We have a large number of options to meet students' individual needs for access. Our students enjoy a variety of different mainstream classes at the middle school and they access our GBSD classroom as well. They enjoy attending classes such as art, technical education, science, English as a second language, literacy, and computer classes. Our GBSD classroom also offers literacy, math, social studies, and science. Students attending mainstream classes are provided with note takers and interpreters, as well as academic support, which is provided in the GBSD classroom. Many students unable to access mainstream classes due to language levels can receive their full academic program in our GBSD classroom. Students at Lyman Moore who are hearing have access to an American Sign Language class, which allows them to develop relationships with our students who are deaf. It seems that Lyman Moore School is the only school that offers American Sign Language classes to middle school age students. Each student is a true individual and it is important for our students to have early exposure to social emotional development and academic inclusion. This program has seen the success of many students. We foster their early learning and growth so they can become successful people in the Our Early Childhood and Family Services, also known as ECFS program, provides services statewide to families with children birth through five who are deaf, hard of hearing, or have a suspected hearing loss. We provide information, support, and home visits to families and professionals. Our ECFS consultants go to the family's home to provide neutral and unbiased information. They provide information about early childhood development, hearing levels, communication and technology options, 
early visual communication development, auditory skills development, hearing aids and cochlear implants, program and educational resources, funding options, networking, and collaboration. Pre-CFS consultants are available to provide observations, assessments, and consultations to daycares and other preschool programs. They will also collaborate with individual family services plans and individual education plans, IFSP and IEPs. Our program collaborates with both the families and the teens, providing an opportunity for networking with other families and providers and agencies statewide. We have a variety of professional staff on our team, including teachers of the deaf, deaf mentors, a parent infant specialist, early childhood educators, an educational audiologist, and special educators. Hi, I'm Joshua Seal. People call me Josh. I work at Governor Baxter School for the Deaf on Mackworth Island in Falmouth, Maine. I work with the younger students in grades K through 5. Our students are deaf and hard of hearing. Some students spend their day with us at Governor Baxter School for the Deaf, while others spend a portion of their day at the local public school for listening and spoken language exposure. Should they be mainstreamed for a portion of their day, they are accompanied by a teacher of the deaf who helps them with additional support. We do abide by the educational standards of the state of Maine, focusing on literacy skills, math, and social emotional development. Governor Baxter School for the Deaf provides many services for our students. We provide American Sign Language instruction, spoken language, OT, PT. We have a social worker on staff as well as an audiologist. The language of instruction is American Sign Language. In determining a student's needs, we come together as a greater team. We do involve parents and their wishes and desires for their children as well. Some parents may choose spoken language, others may choose American Sign Language, and some families choose to have their child exposed to both languages. Our goal is for... Hi there, I'm Lenore Borner. I'm the American Sign Language teacher. I teach American Sign Language to students who can hear within Portland Public Schools. I'm currently teaching within two programs, Lyman Moore Middle School and also Portland High School. I'm teaching American Sign Language, but not only do I teach them the foundational skills to American Sign Language, I'm teaching them deaf culture and deaf history as well. What a great opportunity for students who can hear to learn of American Sign Language, the history, and the culture. The Governor Baxter School for the Deaf Students are an integral part of the classroom environment in both schools. By having a common language, a shared common language, students who can hear and the deaf students are able to communicate directly and create relationships and bond and friendship. I also find that Governor Baxter School for the Deaf feel as if they're more of an integrated part of the community within the schools. Thank you. Hi, I'm Shannon Winter. I'm a teacher at Portland High School.
we have fabulous services that we provide for our students as well as top-notch staff. We have Governor Baxter School for the Deaf, classrooms for students who are deaf and hard of hearing. All instruction is provided in their native language, in American Sign Language. I teach math, science, social studies. We have teachers who teach English, as well as life skills. We also have American Sign Language classes and Deaf Studies that our students can take as well. On top of the edu educational component, we also have OT, PT, and Speech Language services for our students. Our classroom environment consists of direct instruction from teachers who use their native language and also students can participate in Portland High School's mainstream programming alongside a sign language interpreter. Within Portland Public Schools, we also provide American Sign Language classes to students who can hear. And in those classrooms, we have deaf and hard of hearing students interacting and are involved in an integral part of that coursework. We have students taking robotics, involved in clubs, and some of our students have even been involved in the academic goal as well. There are many opportunities for our students, and the services that we provide, the list is unending. I hope that you have a great day. Hi, welcome. I'm here to highlight the Public School Outreach Program. The acronym for our program is PSO. I am Conrad Strack, and I am a public school outreach consultant. Public school outreach collaborates with school systems who support deaf and hard of hearing children throughout the state. PSO has three offices, one at Baxter, one in the Bangor area, and one way up north in Presque Isle. All of the consultants within the Public School Outreach Program have Teacher of the Deaf certification and have taught deaf and hard of hearing students within our careers. As we are referred to meet with students, we first have conversations with parents and the school system. We visit the school for an all-day observation, taking opportunities to meet with students, staff, faculty, and parents, and then we create our reports. Our reports are then shared with parents, the student, and teachers as well. During our observations, we focus on access. We want to ensure that a student has 100% access to their curriculum and school day. We highlight their needs in terms of literacy, vocabulary. We also participate in 504 and IEP meetings with the ability to expand and explain our reports as well. We find that many students do have sign language interpreters present in a student's day. We provide support for that piece as well. As you know, many students who are deaf or hard of hearing use assistive technology, such as hearing aids, cochlear implants, and FM systems. As experts in the field, we can provide workshops and learning opportunities to staff and faculty so that they understand how to use these devices. We also provide that type of support for students and parents as well. Public school outreach consultants do provide transition support. We like to observe how incidental learning is happening for students in the classroom environment. Not only is instruction directly from an instructor or teacher important, but also what a student might learn at recess, on the playground, and through peer interaction. We do like to identify the needs of a student in terms of their social emotional growth as well. We can provide support and ideas brainstorming in ways to strengthen that. 
We do provide a program called Kids Like Me. We have an elementary program which is eight weeks long, afternoons only. And we have a high school and middle school program which meets three times a year and it's an overnight program. The overnight program consists of sleeping out, camping, bowling, kayaking, bicycling. The goal of this programming is that students who may be the only deaf or hard of hearing student in their home location are able to gather and socialize with other students who are very much like themselves. Hence the name Kids Like Me. We focus on self-esteem, social emotional growth, and very much have a can-do attitude throughout the whole weekend. Another program that we provide is transitional programming for our students. Should it be an elementary school student transitioning to middle school, middle school to high school? We like to ensure that our students have an opportunity prior to that transition to go and visit the new location, meet the staff, meet the teachers, and gain some self-awareness and self-advocacy skills to speak up for themselves. As students are approaching graduation, which is a big day in their life, we do ensure that outside resources are tied in. We speak with the VR and other outside agencies who can provide support for them post-graduation. Towards the end of the school year, we provide an, an activity, which is a family learning day. There's one in the Bangor area, Presque Isle, and one here at Governor Baxter School for the Deaf. It's a wonderful opportunity for families and students to interact with one another. The public school outreach group we do have a Facebook page. I invite you to like us and follow us on Facebook, and I hope that you have a great day. Hello and welcome to Mackworth Island Preschool. I'm Catherine Carmina, and this is Catherine Mushman. Kathy and I work together as a team in our preschool program. I'm the spoken language instructor, and Kathy teaches as an ASL teacher. Our program serves students that are deaf, hard of hearing, or hearing, and between the ages of three to five. Our program has two classrooms, an ASL classroom and a spoken language classroom. It's the parent's decision to decide which classroom their child would start their morning in. Our preschool team has created a curriculum that utilizes the island's natural resources and allows students to learn through these experiences. In the morning, both the ASL and spoken language classroom follow a typical preschool schedule that includes snack and morning meeting. When it's time for centers, we open the door between the two classrooms and the students have the chance to decide which classroom they would like to play in.
We do a combined story time switching from ASL to spoken language, and we encourage you to watch some of these stories that are posted on our blog. When the weather allows, we spend a lot of time outdoors exploring and playing in the natural environment. When we come in from recess, we split back into the ASL and spoken language classrooms. The students continue to follow their specific language plans. Please feel free to come visit us here at the Mackworth Island Preschool.